It is a beautiful winter day here on the farm. We just got dumped on snow last night, probably about four inches of snow. And you know, I'm, I'm a Canadian, so this is great. I, I, I love winter and this is some of the nicest stuff. And this really leads me into today's video. Um, I wanted to talk about snow loads and uh, setting up permits for, for greenhouses, for a greenhouse operation. This is, uh, this is definitely something that, that comes up when, when, uh, when you're setting up something similar to this. And <clears throat> snow loads means that how much weight the greenhouse can handle from, from ice and snow until it's going to collapse and then be a liability for your business and, uh, and possibly hurt someone. And this is, uh, you know, it wasn't something that we were aware of. We had to actually go through legislation and meet with the, meet with some people downtown and kind of go through this. But it turns out that, uh, if it's a temporary structure, uh, they don't actually require the the snow load uh, specs of the greenhouse, and uh, these these greenhouses are Shelter Logic, and they're actually marketed as a temporary structure. So that that's the workaround in this in this video is that uh, snow loads aren't necessary if you have a temporary structure, and I'm sure there's other examples, but uh, Shelter Logic is is, uh, is a great solution for us, and that's what we ended up doing. Um, if you have a bigger greenhouse and uh, you're going to design it yourself, um, obviously you're not going to have snow load capacity, so that becomes a problem. And uh, if you're going to work with a kit, just make sure that snow load uh, capacity is is part of that because you're going to need that if you want to get a permit and set up your farm properly. And you know, for us, we live in Canada. So we get a lot of snow, so obviously that matters. If you're in a climate that doesn't get snow, then obviously it's not going to matter. Um, for us, uh, these, these greenhouses are not operational in the winter. So even if there was a problem, no one's ever working in these. Um, I'm just worried about the, uh, the structural integrity staying so that uh, nothing gets damaged. And uh, what, what I do is just take my broom and just knock the snow off. And that's really just kind of maintenance throughout the season. And all I'm really concerned about is really heavy wet snow or ice that might form on the snow if, uh, if I left it and got lazy. But uh, it's really easy to knock off. And uh, this is actually the first year that I've left a shade cloth on the greenhouse. And I'm not really sure why I didn't do this sooner because the shade cloth actually helps keep the structural integrity intact and it I was worried that maybe it would get ripped when I when I dragged the broom down and in fact that's not the case uh, this is actually a lot better because uh, the greenhouse tarps can uh, can rip and and get damaged by the sun and the wind over time and the shade cloth actually helps keep everything together so this is something that uh, we're gonna do from now on is leave the shade cloths on and you know that's a lot less labor for us too because we don't have to fold them up and pack them away and I don't have to have the situation where a mouse might rip through my shade cloth which happened last year because we had these uh, packed up and stored over uh, some some grain which <laughs> which sucked but anyways that's getting sidetracked so snow loads uh, snow loads is really important and uh, and if you have a temporary structure uh, you're gonna feel good about uh, setting something like this up and not have to worry about a permit and if you are gonna put something up that requires a permit just make sure that you're buying a greenhouse that that meets those uh, specifications so that you're not wasting your money so that's really all what this video is about today guys um, like I said I'm, I'm really enjoying this snow today um, I might even go ask the wife if she wants to go snowshoeing because this this is just going to be a lot of fun. So, anyways, that's all for now, guys. Hope you found this helpful. Uh, maybe uh, maybe leave a comment below, and we will discuss 
uh, some greenhouse design. I'd like to know if there's anyone else on this channel that's doing something similar to this. Um, possibly you guys have uh, some greenhouse kit recommendations that you could leave on the comments below just to kind of help people source out other temporary structures uh, for doing a farm similar to this. Anyways, we'll talk to you soon.